Um, the, the program, which was by then mass communication, I think started in the year when I joined Makiri as an undergraduate. Is that right, Mr. Bin? You are a pioneer, we, you are second pioneers. Eight, eight. So we were able to see the pioneers. And it evolved into a department. Ten years later. Then it metamorphosed into the department as of now with possibly the highest number of PhDs. Because I do not know any department in Makerere that has 100% members of staff who are PhDs. But journalism and communication, you said 16 out of 18. 13 out of 16, 90%. And the other three are also registered for PhDs. That means in about one year, you can see what is, as a school, we definitely continue to give the support you require at any one time. And in the School of Languages, Literature and Communication, we don't pay. It. We only achieve, and our results are usually outstanding. And I can assure you, Professor Susan, and uh, your colleague from Dortmund, is that right? Yeah, Dortmund. It's Dortmund. Yeah, from Dortmund. That in Makerere, we work and ensure that the results submitted or achieved are outstanding. We pledge this support. I'm sure with the principal here, he will also give his remarks. I don't want to preempt him, but this project will succeed. Just like when COVID came, and we had to go online. The entire university went online. And we succeeded. Even when the infrastructure was limited, it was boosted to the required minimum and to deliver outstanding output. We did that. Now, what you have started, I'm sure you will not have any problems along the way. A committed team. And even you can outsource, we are available at any one time to come in and help. With those, I wish you successful deliberations, especially we have our, where we have our, our keynote speaker, Professor Monica. And uh, by the way, we were almost close to one another with our offices. And I learned a lot when she was doing her PhD. She showed me how to relate literature to your findings. Prof, I still remember, I, I remember that very well. <laughs> With partnership at, U, I, at UCU, everything is going the right way. I wish you success in your deliberations today. Um, thank you very much, Dr. Gumoshave. Um, we always get uh, very good support and encouragement from the school, and uh, for that we are eternally grateful. Uh, I, I get the opportunity to also um, appraise the college on the very, very solid support that we get from that office as well. Um, we are now going to hear remarks from uh, Dr. Michel Leroy. Um, Yes, um, Dr. Michelle Leroy, uh, the academic project manager. Uh, Michelle, you are welcome. Uh, Michelle has already eaten some matoke here. So <laughs> when you eat matoke, you become a Ugandan by association. Yeah, so you are welcome. Thank you very much indeed for your welcome. Um, 
Mrs. Dean, Mr. Principal, Mr. Uh, Mrs. the Head of Department, it's more than a pleasure to be here. It's an honor uh, to be here in a one century old university like Makerere. I'm coming from Dortmund, from the University of Dortmund, which is just, if I can say that, 50 years old. So we are a young university. And so it's really an honor for us to be there and to have received such a welcome since we are there. Um, and thank you very much indeed for, for that. We, we are really appreciating um, the welcome we received so far. And I'm sure we will have a very fruitful first in presence meeting during the four days we are here in uh, Kampala. Um, I will not be long um, because the previous speakers have already told about the strategic dimension, about the globalization of the higher institutions, about the importance of digitalization of the e-learning and the process and the disruptive uh, effect that the COVID has in this matter. Um, but I just would like to add um, a few things um, on that. Um, first of all, I'm convinced that the COMPASS project uh, will have a potential to rethink the way people uh, look at migration and mobility. Maybe it will not be the case for our generation, but it will maybe be the case for the next generation, and that's why it's so important to train the future journalists, the future researchers working in this field. And I think this is one of the key issues uh, of the COMPASS project. Another key issue, and we have discussed that already yesterday, and I think we will discuss that during the conference today is to build uh, an African narrative on the migration issue. Um, we lack and all the reports we have done uh, and Professor Fengler did one, one very seminal one in, in the matter, showed that there is a lack of an African narrative, an African story of migration. So that's one of the gap we have identified for the COMPASS project and that's something we would like to insist on during the implementation of uh, the COMPASS project. And as the uh, Master of Ceremony told already, um, a more personal maybe uh, view on, on that, because I was there actually, as you mentioned, um, just before the pandemic, uh, during my, during my, my uh, research field for my PhD. So I went up country mostly, I went to Tororo, I went to Arua, I went to um, Kalabala Island. Um, so it was very impressive. I had to leave the country uh, very, very urgently to take the last seat of the last plane to come back to uh, Europe. And the last meeting uh, I was supposed to have the following day was with William and was here in Makerere. So I'm really glad for many reasons and for this reason in particular to be back and to hold on the story again and thank you very much indeed for that. Um, thank you very much Michel. Yeah, so you can see Michel knows Uganda quite well. Um, yeah, we re, we'll be delving more uh, outside the meeting about uh, his uh, culinary more culinary experiences, what he did eat and drink uh, in this uh, diversity uh, that we have in the country. Um, so thank you very much, Michel. Um, and now, um, Professor Susan Fengra will speak to us. Uh, ordinarily, given Professor Fengra's profile, you should be paying to listen to what she's saying, but you are just lucky that she's here for free, you, so you can, uh, yeah, that's how serious matters are. Uh, but uh, Professor Susan Fengler is the uh, pro, uh, principal investigator on the Compass Project, and uh, uh, she's uh, been uh, in the journalism and communication sector for um, quite some time. Um, if you even Googled, you would find her publications um, uh, on your phone, uh, especially around the subject of media accountability. Uh, when I was still working on my research, I, I, I used her texts 
uh, quite generously, yeah, they were quite available. Uh, so, uh, Professor Fengra, you are welcome and pleased to speak to us for free. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, and thank you for having us and me here in Uganda. It's my first time, but I feel at home already, not only because I found my twin brother, William, <laughs> but also because it's, uh, it's such a wonderful feeling to be here with such a magnificent team, such beautiful hosts. Yeah? Thank you very much to the Chancellor, to the Dean, to the Head of Department, to everybody involved in the staff of prefer preparing this conference, uh, taking the time to attend even in graduate season. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just so super happy that we can start actually the, the real work today and, and by getting together. And um, I also thank you really on, on behalf of Europe for your patience with European bureaucracy. Because I think this was really like the first huge step stone we had to overcome was the EU funding and tender portal. And it took us <laughs> half a year, I would say, to manage this. And um, I really once more apologize for, for that kind of bureaucratic trouble we put have uh, we, we, we put a lot of you into. And so just thank you very much for your patience. Um, yeah, thank you for not losing confidence in, in the project start. Thank you very much, all of you, for being here. And it's yeah, such a beautiful moment to be here also with so many dear old friends like Adolf is. Yeah, I still remember you coming into the institute in Dortmund for the first time. That was so nice. Nika Chibita, yeah, we have um, spent so many very good days um, in Germany together. And I'm just so happy that you've become a dear friend over all the projects we did together. William, yeah, it's just fantastic. So thank you so much for, um, yeah, for just getting us going here with such a warmth and friendship. And I also would really like to thank Michel Leroy for being the mastermind of everything we're doing here. And he did a, such a tremendous job in, in getting um, the project on track, um, helping us to sketch out our structure, um, our proceedings. So thank you very much, Michelle. This is an extra applause. <laughs> and I also really would like to warmly thank all partners involved in this project. Um, our dear partners from Malawi, our dear partners from Burkina Faso, um, our dear partners from Uganda Christian University, and our dear partners from Portugal. And Anna might be online with us in a second, and I'm sure you will love her also the moment she joins the team for the very first time. Um, so just um, to, to quickly wrap up, uh, Michelle has said excellent things about the idea, intention of this project already. And let me just add that um, I would also consider migration and migration coverage um, as much more as being only, only migration coverage or coverage about migration and, and uh, forced displacement. But, it, but it's also a lens to speak about problems in society because people migrate because there are problems in society which need to be addressed. Sometimes it's hard to address specific problems because all of us are facing restrictions, political restrictions and so on. But migration can offer us like, yeah, like, like a space to discuss about certain issues which maybe cannot be spoken out so freely otherwise. Um, and I think this is very helpful. We also need a critical constituency in, in all countries to discuss these matters. And I'm, I'm really confident that the migration issue can be, can be yeah, a tool for us to discuss about a much broader set of things, problems, and so on. And also, I think migration can be a lens for all of us to the big world <laughs> around us. Because if we deal with migration, and if we cover migration, and if we try to cover it comprehensively, um, we need to understand what happens when people leave a country, when they transit, and when they enter into a country, um, and what it does with societies in origin countries, in host countries, in transit countries. And um, for me, I just can say, for the years now that we have worked on, 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 on that topic, um, it was such a huge learning process, and how different the perspectives on migration can be. And so, so I consider it for me the 
the biggest learning experience um, I have embarked so far, and um, I'm running into new insights every moment. And so I'm so grateful that you will share your insights with us and that we can learn from you and that we can exchange freely um, across borders, across continents, across cultures and find a common understanding and, and a much broader understanding of the world and also convey this message to our audience because via migration coverage they will much better understand what's going on in the world. Yeah? It's, it will offer them a perspective, it's relevant for them but it will also help them to understand what is going on in other countries, other continents, other cultures. And so I think it will also be such an important tool to, yeah, to, to, to bring the world society together with, which is much more important at the moment than it probably has ever been. And so I'm grateful we can embark on this journey together and continue it. So let's sail. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Professor uh, Fengra. Uh, we, uh, you have helped us to even understand more about what is going on and uh, what the project um, intends to achieve, shedding more light on the key issues uh, that have to be dealt with. And uh, now it is my pleasure to invite the principal Um, thank you. There was some here. Um, so I would like to invite the, our principal, uh, uh, Pro Professor Witch, representing Professor Josephine Ahichire, to address us. Thank you very much. And please, when the Vice Chancellor comes in, invite him to speak, because I think I'm too small to invite the Vice Chancellor to speak. I hope, I hope he's on his way. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you, Adolf. Uh, thank you very much, the Vice Chancellor uh, in absentia, I'm told he is about to come, the Director of the Eric Brost Institute for International Journalism at the Technical University of Dortmund, uh, who is also the, uh, the Compass Project Principal Investigator, Professor Susan Fengler, Elizabeth Ongom, uh, our keynote speaker and the Dean of the Faculty of Journalism, Media and Communication, at Uganda Christian University, the representative of the head of the Department of Journalism and Communication, uh, Dr. Marjorie Chomoendo, the Compass Project uh, Principal Institutional Coordinator and also co-PI at Makere University, uh, Dr. William Tayebwa, uh, our distinguished partners from Germany, uh, Burkina Faso, Malawi, uh, I'd like to recognize also in a special way my guild president when I was a student here, Sarah Kajingo, who is here with us. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Sarah, for coming. Yeah, Sarah was my, my guild president when I was here. She campaigned with some strong men and beat all of them. And I think she has remained very active in the field of media and journalism and made quite some significant contributions from the media, students, Present, ladies and gentlemen. You are all welcome to Makere University, and we are very happy to, to welcome you here this morning to receive you. And thank you very much for creating time to participate in this very important uh, meeting. Um, our visitors from Germany, Malawi, and Burkina Faso visited me yesterday in my office. Uh, I think I've already been introduced, uh, Eric Awich Ochen is my name, and I'm representing the substantive principal, Professor Josephine Aichire, who is engaged in other meetings, but she might be able to pass by in the next few uh, days that you are still here. We might still get to meet her. Yeah, so um, the team met me, and I indicated to them that uh, the college welcomes collaboration of this nature. We are more than happy to welcome new partners to work with us. I think the head of department already indicated earlier on that uh, Makere's new strategic plan uh, 
has some very important pillars. Uh, we have community engagement and engagement with industry. But more importantly, we also have what we call internationalization, which is positioning the university to work together with our institutional partners in both the global south and the global north in order to make a difference and play our role, make contribution to improving uh, life for humanity because I think that's what universities are here for anyway. Because all the knowledge that help to transform lives are uh, initiated and produced, they are actually cooked at the university level. So the university is the kitchen where we produce knowledge which is converted into innovation which transform lives and livelihoods. And for this, we welcome this partnership. Uh, and I hope this is the start of uh, many more years of, of collaboration, even for other projects that are yet to come beyond Erasmus Plus uh, collaborations. Um, I would like to also give a special welcome to Professor Monica Chibita. Uh, who was a former head of the department, who is a former head of the Department of Journalism and Communication, and is going to be our keynote speaker for today. Uh, when I just joined the university, I used to sit on the same building, on the same floor actually, as Professor Chibita, and occasionally I would pass by to greet her and say hi. And she was always very modest and kind enough to also greet me when she's moving out because my, my office was actually right at the door when somebody's moving up, Mo moving, I mean, moving down from the upper floor. So thank you very much, uh, Professor Chibita, for always being humble and modest despite all the achievement that you've had. Yeah. Um, at CHOOSE, I mean, as a college, we are very excited to house this project on the media and migration. Migration is one of the, those topics that cuts across disciplines. Uh, for example, we have other colleagues in the, in the college who are researching on migration, uh, on mobility. We have the Refugee Law Project, uh, which is one of the biggest uh, projects that the university has. Uh, most people actually think it is an organization, but it is actually a project of the School of Law of Macquarie University. They receive quite some substantial funding to do a lot of work with refugees and other communities. Uh, addressing access to rights, among others. Yeah, so we already play a very key role here. Uh, we had another project funded by NOHEAD in the School of Social Sciences, I think led by Dr. Eria Olowo, which was also looking at mobility cross-border dynamics. It ended, but now they have a second phase, which is still exploring issues around migration. And of course, we have other colleagues in other departments as well researching this very important uh, issue. And of course, generally speaking, we know migration is one of those very important issues that we engage with in modern, in modern time. We've been reading stories, and of course, all this, whatever happens in migration is brought to us by those who write, and the people who write are actually the journalists. So how it is reported actually matter uh, in terms of response, in terms of intervention, in terms of support. We've been reading uh, very... Uh, horrific tales about African migrants who are moving uh, from, the, well, in the, who, who are trying to move to Europe using the turbulent waters of the Mediterranean in very dingy boats, uh, trying to make thousands of kilometers uh, or, you know, journey across from Africa to Europe. And of course, we've read painful stories of many of them drowning, children, women, and young people. Uh, you know, and all these are very sad things. Of course, we've, we, we, we've also read issues about people who have been forced to leave their home uh, because of civil conflict and other challenges. So all this remain very much a challenge for the 21st century that we have to address. And when we have projects of this nature coming in to make contributions, uh, this is very important. Uh, and as you are also aware, Uganda has been hailed by international community for its open door policy on refugees and migrants. Uh, I'm aware, as already indicated to you, that media reporting is key to the portrayal of refugees and migrants in any community. As I indicated, this will also determine the kind of response that are, are, are initiated. Um, 
I've also been told that this project, uh, WUSKI output will be massive open online course or small private open courses on media and migration will strengthen the capacity of our staff to produce and manage e-learning programs, not only at the university, but also internationally. Yeah, so the project provides important contribution to the college as it moves towards blended learning, uh, among others, and especially on this very important uh, topic. Uh, an important thing to note is that this project brings collaboration, uh, brings, uh, yeah, this collaboration brings together universities from, fun, from francophone uh, speaking uh, countries and also anglophone speaking countries. Uh, this is something which is unique. In most cases when we are doing projects, we tend to look for partners who speak the same language as us. So we have most of us working with people in Norway, in Sweden, in England. <laughs> yes, yeah, oh, okay, oh, oh, okay, so they have corrected me that Portugal is also part of the project and they don't speak uh, Francophone only, they, theirs is Lusophone, right? Yeah, so this is a very unique project and which provides very important opportunities to us as a university, I mean as a college, as a university, to our students, to the researchers in this field and I think this is really, really good and I would like to thank the project team again the principal investigators, uh, uh, Professor, uh, uh, Professor, uh, um, um, uh, let me let me get the name again, right? <laughs> he, yes, yes, yes. Okay, oh, okay, Fengler. Yes, yeah, sorry, the name disturbs me. And Doctor uh, Taeba for working hard in making sure that uh, they build this very truly international team and yeah so my best wishes not only for the deliberation that you're going to have for the next few days but also for the project as it rolls out so thank you very much um, thank you very much our principal um, uh, for those uh, uh, very enlightening remarks um, let me consult a, a little bit here. Yeah, we are we are waiting for the vice chancellor to drop in here. I think he's he's quite busy. Um, yeah, but um, uh, in the meantime, I think we. Um, is there anybody who has like a, um, an issue to raise or um, uh, any clarification arising out of uh, to seek arising out of our um, uh, session here? Uh, maybe. Uh, we we may wish to hear from our, our brothers uh, who have come from Malawi and Burkina Faso. Uh, Andrew, any um, thoughts? Not yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And Gogo, Gogo can't uh, always has. Uh, it is too early. Yeah, but you can talk about your country, you can talk about your uh, university uh, and uh, how this collaboration uh, hopefully shapes uh, your research and teaching agenda going forward. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to, okay. Um, um, I think we'll probably take a photo uh, here and then break off for tea and then uh, get started at 11, at exactly 11. So let's take, um, let's have the photo opportunity now done and cleared and then uh, we'll break off for, for uh, tea and then start um, with the keynote in another session. 
Oh, the VC is here, uh, so we don't uh, we don't have to break. <laughs> Mr. Vice Chancellor, you are welcome. We are happy to have you here. Yeah, um, Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Vice Chancellor, for gracing our conference with your presence. Uh, we've been here since nine. We started at nine, and we have had remarks from various people. Uh, but uh, I would now like to um, invite the uh, principal, uh, Professor Witch, to welcome you uh, officially, and then uh, maybe give you a few hints about what we have done and invite you to speak to us uh, Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you very much, MC. Uh, the Vice Chancellor, uh, represented here by the, the substantive uh, Deputy Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Professor Umaro Kakumba. Uh, thank you for gracing this occasion. We had already recognized you in absence here. Uh, what happened, sir, is that uh, we started this, uh, 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 this conference well. Uh, we've had remarks from the, the project coordinator here at Makere University, who is also the, the co-principal of journalism and communication, presented here by Dr. Majori Chomohendo. Uh, we've also had remarks from uh, Dr. Michael Leroy, uh, Michelle Leroy, from the Eric Brost Institute for International Journalism, Technical University of Dartmouth. And we've also had remarks from the Compass Project uh, Principal Investigator, uh, Professor Dr. Suzanne Fengler, who is also the director of the Eric Brost Institute for International Journalism at the Technical University of Dartmouth. So it is now my pleasure, Vice Chancellor, to invite you to give your remarks. Thank you. Uh, many thanks to you, uh, Principal, College of uh, Humanities and Social Sciences. Uh, let me start by apologizing for coming late. I was in another meeting uh, on Senate academic policies, and uh, I sought leave to come here. And uh, shortly after here, you'll permit me to, to leave, not because I am displeased by what is going on, but because uh, of uh, uh, overriding uh, commitments. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I want to take this opportunity to recognize you, principal, recognize the director uh, of the Erich Brost Institute of International Journalism at Technical University of Dortmund, uh, who is the Compass Project PI, uh, Prof. Susan uh, Fengler, the European Union Erasmus Plus focal person in Uganda, uh, Elizabeth Ongom, our keynote speaker. Uh, I haven't seen Professor Chibita Monica. She's ah, Professor Monica, most welcome. Yeah, the last time I checked, you used known to be a backbencher, <laughs> so, yeah, so you should come closer to the corridors of power. Yeah. Yeah, I want to welcome you, Professor Monica, uh, the Dean uh, School of Languages, uh, uh, here represented, and uh, the Head of Department Journalism, here represented, uh, my friend and brother, Dr. William Taewa, uh, the Distinguished Project uh, Partners from Germany, Burkina Faso, Malawi, Portugal, uh, and then the Distinguished Panel speakers, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yesterday I, I actually uh, welcomed the team in the Vice Chancellor's office that is part of the Compass uh, project, the collaborative team. Yeah, I, I started learning slowly the French because yeah, we had uh, colleagues from Owaga, Ouagadougou, yeah, and uh, West Francophone, West Africa, and then uh, Malawi. Yeah, so I want to take this opportunity to thank you so much for gracing uh, this uh, occasion. I also want to take the opportunity to uh, congratulate the team uh, upon uh, this milestone. 
for this very, very important uh, uh, project. I, yeah. It's, yeah, a hand of clap is very, very much in order. Yeah, colleagues, you are aware that uh, uh, this collaborative arrangement is coming in at a time after we have gone through a long uh, uh, year, a year of celebration, Makerere making 100 years. So meaning that if you are witnessing the beginning of a new century, then you are also witnessing the rejuvenation of an institution that has taken some time to stand the test of time, that has gone through thick and thin, an institution that has uh, uh, been able to review its prospects, uh, its achievements, and then an institution that has set out to uh, focus its strategic direction. In terms of uh, becoming more research intensive, as you are aware, Makerere is striving to be uh, to, 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 to take on the, the, the mantra of uh, a research-led university. And, and, and in doing that, we mean that we shall research will become the definition of everything that we do, that it must be informed by generation of knowledge, it must be based on data. It must be based on uh, whether it is policies, whether it is uh, decisions, whether it is uh, practices, or any innovations, they must arise from uh, the generation of knowledge and, 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 and the research foundation. So in that direction, I think you, this comes in at a very, very good time, also to appreciate the direction that we have in terms of internationalization. Uh, we have said many times, and uh, the media has reported, that Makerere is, is one of the institutions that will always find uh, occupying spaces of, of any newspaper, of any uh, media house, on anything that comes out, sometimes including the bad. But that shows that if you were, not, if you were a nobody, then you wouldn't be worthy occupying the front pages of Eh, of the mainstream eh, and, and, and the social media. So that, that brand gives us a very good uh, you know, uh, visibility uh, for us to partner uh, with the people in, in order to uh, contribute to, to the wider society. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm also aware that uh, uh, under government of Uganda, we, we have continued to venture into the society, okay, interrogating the issues that uh, affect society. Uh, in, in, as a university, to move away from the ivory tower so that we are, we are able to inquire into those uh, issues in the society that, uh, and, and find the solutions to problems in, in, in society. So we also embrace the idea of uh, a community university. Okay, or a civic university. So in being a civic university, we, 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 we associate ourselves with uh, uh, looking at uh, human behavior, uh, human ways of production, livelihoods, and improvement. And in all of this, communication becomes very, very, very important. Uh, secondly, ladies and gentlemen, this project responds, as I have indicated, to Makere University's internationalization agenda and uh, in the countries that we are having already, Germany, Burkina Faso, Malawi, and uh, Ethiopia, Guinea-Bissau, Cameroon, uh, Kenya, UNESCO, and uh, many other agencies. Uh, there are also non-higher education institution partners that include UNESCO, the World Journalism Education Council, the European Journalism Training Association, the African Media Initiative in Kenya, and the Media Challenge Initiative uh, in Uganda. So I want to thank all of these uh, groups, all of these uh, institutions that are coming together to work with Makerere uh, to improve uh, our society and make it uh, better. Uh, number four, this project uh, I've also been briefed that uh, it is communicating, it is on touching a theme which is communicating migration and mobility. Uh, and this area speaks to Uganda's open door policy of welcoming thousands of refugees 
uh, in Africa and across. Actually, now we are the biggest host in this entire uh, region of the continent. You know, from Congo, DR Congo, uh, Burundi, Rwanda, Somalia, South Sudan, uh, and even Central African Republic. So we are hosting many uh, migrant communities. And, and, and there are issues uh, to, to, to really investigate, I mean, interrogate to, to find ways of harmonious coexistence with communities. As you are aware, displacement, many people, all people, people never choose to be displaced. Eh? Nobody loves to be displaced, or ordinarily people wouldn't migrate. That's because of those uh, unbearable circumstances. Many times because of war or conflict that uh, displaces people. So when people get to the communities, then you must also be able to address the communities that is the needs of the communities that is hosting them. Okay, because the host communities uh, tend to have their culture and, uh, and 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 even other stereotypes. So harmony is very very important under humanity. So. This project, I, we are hosting more than a million refugees, as you are aware, in this country. And uh, we have institutions such as the Refugee Law Project in Makerere here and the Human Rights Peace Center, URIPEC. Uh, when now we add on uh, journalism and communication, working with a team uh, from Africa and across the, the world, I think it gives us a very, very good, uh, good dividends. Yeah, so the School of Social Sciences launched in 2016 a training program in migration health. This project will therefore provide an additional opportunity to interrogate the Ugandan model on what Uganda can teach to the world with respect to being an excellent host nation to refugees and migrants. And uh, yeah, finally, I am also uh, been briefed that this project is geared towards the development of the massive online open course as well as the uh, small private online courses for academic institutions and uh, and for the media media sector so within Makere University the project will synergize and build the work of the Institute of Open Distance and e-learning and I want to thank you on this uh, Professor Taiwo and, uh, and and the team yeah, if uh, the, yeah the, the hand is very, very much in order. As, uh, as, as we, we look at uh, issues of communication, behavior communication, uh, issues of uh, uh, communication in conflict, and also business communication or economic communication, we, 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 we must now also move the opportunity. When we develop programs or curricula or training programs, they should also be shared by a wider audience. So the open distance and e-learning comes in, 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 in handy. So I'm glad that you are now working with the IODEL, our Institute of Open Distance and e-learning, so that you have uh, the e-learning uh, course, short executive skills development, but also sensitization programs. So we therefore wish to forward uh, to, we therefore wish to look forward to the smooth implementation of this project uh, as a university, as uh, the person at the docket of uh, academic affairs, and also research and uh, uh, collaboration. I want to pledge the support uh, of uh, the university management and my office in particular to uh, this project. And, uh, uh, and your team. Yeah, what I'm looking forward, what we are expecting or anticipating from this is uh, expand the frontiers of knowledge so that we can benefit the wider community. So we shall be happy to receive those uh, short courses, executive training programs, skills development, and uh, probably even PhD. Okay. Yesterday when I met the team, I, I emphasized the need for a taught PhD in, in, in journalism and communication. Of course, we have been awarding PhDs, but the modern PhDs are different from eh, the emerging now uh, era of training for doctorates uh, is, is, is moving away for, 
uh, to have a very, very strong foundation, solid foundation of the theory, uh, but also the practice and then the research. So we look forward to that uh, uh, through this project, if you can have uh, a program that can allow displaced people, communities to attend to higher education, that will be very, very good. Yeah, and I'm also reliably informed that the project was born from the realization that many newsrooms in sub-Saharan Africa fail to address the root causes of migration and to discuss the potential solutions in terms of mobility. So uh, I am happy that this program, uh, the project, will, will take to addressing uh, that gap. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, colleagues, uh, once again, I want to thank you for uh, gathering here and uh, taking the interest in the COMPASS uh, project. Uh, once again, we want to congratulate the PI, the partnership, and uh, the great effort that uh, is so far done, and all that we are waiting to see as uh, the fruits and deliverables of this project. So with those few words, allow me at this juncture to uh, officially uh, open and, uh, and launch the, the project initiatives. But also I wish uh, you fruitful deliberations for the rest of the day in engagement as we build for the future. Thank you so much. May the good Lord bless you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Vice-Chancellor. Uh, for those uh, very deep remarks. And we always thank you for gracing our occasions. Um, every time we have uh, a function here, uh, a workshop, a meeting, a launch, uh, Professor Kakumba has always been with us. Um, it, almost, it almost feels like he came from journalism and communication, but uh, uh, Professor Kukumba is uh, an accomplished economist. Uh, uh, um, Mr. Vice-Chancellor, we have uh, some guests, uh, visitors, so to say, and partners that I would like to introduce to you. Uh, we have Dr. Michelle Leroy from the Technical University of Dortmund, uh, where Professor Fengla is director. Uh, Dr. Michelle Leroy is Ugandan in, very, in a very significant way. He did his doctoral research in Uganda. Yeah, so he knows Uganda quite well. And we have our brothers, uh, Andrew and Gogo from Malawi, from uh, uh, two universities in Malawi. Uh, they are here. And then we also have our brothers from Burkina Faso. Uh, they, also, uh, they are also part of this. MB from the United Nations High Commission for Refugees. Uh, Mr. Frank Warusimbi is very well known to all of us. Uh, he disappeared from the TV screens, but uh, we still remember the service he gave us while working as a journalist at the National Media Group. Uh, Mr. Vice Chancellor, we also have uh, members of staff from the Department of Journalism and Communication. Maybe they can stand up so you can make a head count of those who came <laughs> and those who didn't come. Uh, our colleagues from the DJ sessions and related business. They did not cut the meeting, Mr. Vice-Chancellor. Uh, we also have our master's students in uh, strategic and corporate communication and journalism and multimedia. Can you st please stand up so the Vice-Chancellor can see you. you. You never know. He may give you your next job. Uh, can you please also stand up for the vice chancellor uh, work very closely with alumni, with the industry, and with also our students who are the direct beneficiaries, uh, the primary beneficiaries of uh, what we do here. Okay. Um, we, we are also privileged to have uh, Dr. Ojara from the Refugee Law Project. He's just walked in. You are welcome. Um, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, so now uh, we are running to, uh, much longer. We are happy he's here and he's given us uh, the message to get us uh, going for the day uh, and also engage with the issues that will come across uh, as we move along. So I would now like to um, 
the a permanent reminder as evidence that we were here um, on this day and at this moment. So, Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir, and you are, and the, our people. Yes. Yeah. So, we'll have, we'll have one with the people who were seated here, and of course, our project people, the, the visitors from uh, Malawi, Burkina Faso, and Dr. And eventually, we shall all get the opportunity to join uh, in the photos. Our camera persons, are you ready? Uh, please, Andrew, Gogo, and uh, Rasani, and so on, please come forward. Uh, please. Uh, Professor Chibita, uh, you are supposed to be in this picture, in the, in the, the first picture, and uh, subsequently as well. Maybe... Um, Dr. Sarah is uh, seldom in pictures, um, but uh, today we have her exactly where we want her to be. Uh -huh. So, Professor Chibita, are you going to be seen? We, we want to record you um, very well. Uh -huh. So, uh, thank you very much and please remain there. Yeah, um, Dr. Gojara and colleague, please join in the next picture, uh, and members of staff. Um, members of staff. Yeah, we, we want everybody to... Uh, join the picture. Yeah, please. please. Um, and if those pictures are done, now I think the rest of us can join. Peggy, where? Why are you still seated? You are supposed to be. Um, you are. You are supposed to be. F Frank, we also need your face here. Yes. And now the rest of us can join. I'm also, I'm also going to join. I, I can't miss the opportunity to take a picture with the Vice Chancellor and Professor Fengra. Uh, uh, can you, students, can you also join here? Yeah. We're not fit? Yeah, they, they come here. They, some of them can. Yeah, please come. Um, thank you very much. I, we can now break off for tea and then return in uh, 15 minutes. Thank you very much, and uh, I wish you all the best as we go along. Thank you. Oh, we're trying, trying. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Hey, you also going? Okay. Okay. Thank you so much.